Hey everyone, so yesterday Apple released OS 10 Yosemite at their iPad event, and today I am going to show you from start to finish on how to upgrade to Yo OS 10 Yosemite from OS 10 Mavericks. Sorry for the delay, I wanted to get this video out yesterday, but my internet connection wouldn't allow that and actually had some download issues and waiting for it to appear on the Mac App Store. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So as you can see here, I already have OS X Yosemite, the installer, pulled up, but I'm going to show you how to get it real quick. So you're going to go to the Mac App Store, and this is a free upgrade, and you're going to click on the big banner that says OS X Yosemite. It's pretty easy. You're going to click on the download button, you're going to type in your Apple ID, and you're going to wait for it to download. Now for me, after two downloads, it took around oh, five, six hours. Depending on your internet connection, it could be anywhere from 20 or 30 minutes to longer than what I faced. So before you attempt this download where it is a 5.16 gigabyte download that is a very big download uh, you should check your internet speeds and, and make sure you want to do it now the next step you want to take is you want to make sure you back up your hard drive uh, this is essential and if you don't do this then you're subject to losing all of your data and data loss is very difficult to recover and this is always just a safeguard to when you're upgrading to any kind of OS, whether it be on iOS or Android or Windows or, or Macs. Uh, they're all computers, they all have hard drives, and it's always a good idea to back up and, and make a safeguard of your data. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So over here at the OS X installer, I'm going to quick click Continue. I'm going to click Agree on the Terms and Conditions. And then I'm going to show all disk, and I have three disk here. This H, or hard drive 2 is kind of just an extra storage drive. I use this to actually test out the Yosemite public beta. As you saw in one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to, how to create this partition and how to make this drive and, and and be able to test out OS 10 Yosemite, but now that it's been finally released for the public and it's safe to put on your main machine, I'm going to install it on Macintosh HD SSD solid state drive. So let's click install. I'm going to type in my password. And we are now installing. Okay, now that we see OS X is ready to install on my main hard drive, I'm going to do a hyperlapse video of the actual installation process where I just speed up the video so y'all are not watching a 35-40 minute video. But before I do that, I'd like to talk about some of the quick features um, about OS X Yosemite. The biggest one is probably the design, and then you have handoff where you can start something on your Mac and then pick it up on your iPhone or iPad and continue it. Uh, continuity, it just allows all of those three devices to work together. Uh, there's a new iWork updated suite for iOS and macOS. There is new iLife, so iPhoto, iMovie, that kind of thing. Um, something to be advised about is that necessarily not all of the apps will be updated for OS X yet. And so if you have critical apps that you need to do any kind of video production, audio production, any kind of enterprise things, then you might want to hold off for a few days and let those app developers update their apps because otherwise they will not function under OS 10 Yosemite. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and click this install button and restart my MacBook and we are going to see you on the other side. Alrighty, now that we have finished installing OS 10 Yosemite, we are greeted by this launcher screen. So let's go ahead and type my password and log in and then everything should be good. Now I'm going to be doing some setup here, so I need to type in my password again. 
and it will sign me in with my Apple ID. I need to uh, agree to the terms and conditions. I know, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to see. I'll try autofocusing it. Sorry for the uh, hazy looking effect. Uh, I agree to the terms and conditions. I will set up my iCloud keychain later. I will not upgrade to iCloud Drive right now, just for the sole purpose of I'm not exactly sure if I want to do that yet. Uh, I will handle that later. I will not share crash data. And now it should finish completing. And I am on OS 10 Yosemite. So that was the, that's the end of this video. And I thank y'all for watching again. And as you can see, it was very seamless and easy to install. So uh, just have a great day. And like that, hit that like button below. Comment, subscribe, and go like my Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks.